unique item number for her case number? Uh, thing on air clippings from the right hand, item 18A, or is the Schwabings was item 42. Uh, the Schwabings from the uh, left hand fingernails were item 18B. The Schwabings were item 43. So did you look at both the, the left hand and the right hand? Uh, yes. Tell us your process and tell us your results, starting first with her right hand. Uh, the right hand, uh, the extraction amplification, quantitation amplification steps I previously uh, detailed were used. And Amplification was performed with the traditional DNA method, and uh, because I, uh, of the complexity of the mixture, I could not make any conclusions, we went ahead and did YSTR testing as well uh, on the bingo air clippings. And did you do YSTR testing before you did true allele? They were kind of at the same time. So why don't we talk about YSTR first on the right hand and then we'll move to the true allele for the right hand and then we'll repeat the questions for the left. Uh, for the right hand, there was a, the YSTR haplotype uh, was one individual, um, one male individual, Jose Antonio Abaro and Arhenis Abaro, cannot be excluded from the YSTR haplotype from uh, the right hand swabbings and the left hand swabbings. Uh, under the assumption no mutation has occurred, uh, paternal male relatives also cannot be excluded. Okay. So paternal brothers share the same YSTR haplotype? Is that the word? Uh, they should, unless there's a mutation. And did you actually see a mutation in this particular case? Uh, yes, there was a mutation in uh, Diego Abara's uh, YSTR profile. And so because of that genetic mutation, were you able to exclude Diego Abara as the donor of the male profile underneath Lake and Riley's right hand? Uh, yes. Okay. And so you could not under YSTR exclude Arhenis Abara, you told us? Correct. And you could not exclude uh, Jose Antonio Labara. Correct. Did the right fingernails go on the true allele? Uh, yes, they did. And what were your results in true allele? Can, can I state the, the probability for the YSTR? You may, yes, sorry. Uh, the, um, the YSTR profile uh, has been observed in zero uh, 29,207 total individuals in the national database, so it is expected uh, to occur approximately in one in 9,750 male individuals. All right. And moving on to true allele. Uh, for true allele, uh, the wet dry shrubbings from the fingernail clippings from the right hand, uh, 18A item 42 was a mixture of at least two individuals uh, we assumed that the profile of Lake and Riley was present when we did the calculations, so there will be no uh, match statistic for her because it's an intimate sample. Uh, the DNA match between the wet dry swabbings uh, from the fingernail clippings from the right hand and the match was to Jose Antonio Abara. The match is 10 billion times more probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population. Was Diego Abara able to be excluded by true allele? Uh, Diego's Abara's match was approximately 1 billion times less probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population with a 5.36% chance of a false exclusion. Does that mean he was excluded? Yes. What about Arhenis Ibarra? Arhenis uh, Ibarra, his match uh, was 200 trillion times 
less probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population. Again, the 5.36% chance of a false exclusion. And does that mean Arjena Savara was excluded? Yes. So then moving on to the left hand, and does that complete the results from the right, right hand? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. So that would be um, in the right hand, the true results would be Lake and Riley and Jose Ibarra. Correct. Left hand. Uh, left hand uh, contained a mixture of DNA uh, from at least two individuals. Again, the reference of Lake and Riley was assumed in the calculations. And why are you permitted to do that? Because is the DNA is collected directly from her person, so we would expect her uh, DNA to be there so we can make an assumption. All right, thank you. Uh, due to limited data, we could not make any conclusions about the foreign evidence genotype from the swabbings from the left hand. So again, that fell under the 4%. Okay. Moving on then, did that complete both, um, that completed the fingernails right and left? Yes. This, the straw, did you test a straw for the presence of DNA? Yes, I did. And what was that? The straw was 64B, and the swabbings from the straw was item 66. What did you do to the straw, and what were your results for the swabbings from the straw? Uh, the serologist uh, prepared swabbings from the swab that was used to test for her screening, and I used those same swabbings to obtain a DNA profile. And a serologist in this case, would that be Katrina Osipovich? Yes. And so what did you do once you, um, what were your results of the straw then? Uh, the results from the straw was uh, for the traditional DNA testing, I could not make any conclusions because it was about a 50-50 mixture. So I could not separate the profile into individual contributors. So then what did you do? I did true And what were your results? Uh, the swabbings of the straw contained a mixture of DNA from at least two individuals. There was a match from the swabbings of the straw to Jose Abara. This is approximately 50 quadrillion times more probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population. And what about the other DNA profiles there in the straw? Uh, the other profiles, uh, Arhenis Ibarra was excluded from the data from the swabbings, uh, 10 sextillion times less probable than a coincidental match. Diego Ibarra was also excluded, 10 quadrillion times less probable than a coincidental match. And what about Lake and Riley? Uh, she was also excluded, 200 no million times less probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person. And were you able to, other than identifying a match to the likelihood ratio of Jose Ibarra to approximately 50 quadrillion times more probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population, were you able to draw any other conclusions about the profile in this draw? Uh, the profile from this draw, I know it's not a, it shouldn't be a paternally related male individual because the kit we use contains one YSTR location that we test for. And this was right, one YSTR location was different from both of the brothers and from Jose Ibarra. Okay. And it was a male individual. All right. Did you test a swabbings from an Adidas black hat? Yes. What is the hat number for your um, laboratory? And what did you do? For the hat, the number is uh, item 39 is the black ball cap, and the swabbings are item 56. 
What did you do to the swabbings and what were your results? Uh, the traditional DNA testing was performed first and because of the complexity of the mixture, I could not make any conclusions. And then what, what happened to the uh, data from that testing? Uh, the Trillo was used uh, on the swabbings from the hat. Uh, the black ball cap contained the profile of at least three individuals. There was a match from the data from the swabbings from the black ball cap and Lake and Riley. This match is approximately one octillion times more probable than a coincidental match to an unrelated person in the population. Uh, due to the complexity of the mixture, no conclusive determination could be made as to the minor contributor. So you can't tell us who the minor contributors are on the hat? Correct. But Lake and Riley was present on the hat for true allele? Yes. Did you test rocks, which would be um, your items 22 and 23 at the crime lab? Uh, yes, rocks were tested. Tell us about that. There was um, swabbing from a rock, uh, item 22, and contact swabbings from a rock, item 22, uh, swabbings 58 and 59. And there was also another rock. Um, item 23, those swabbings were uh, item 60, and those contained the DNA profile of one individual, and that profile matched uh, the reference of Lake and Riley. Uh, the frequency of the profile uh, is approximately one in 500 octillion individuals in the population. Okay, what about the other rocks? So only Lake and Riley on that item? Yes. Only Lake and Riley in the rock swabs. Both rocks. Both rocks. All right. Um, what about a tree? Did you test swabbings from a tree? Uh, yes. And what were your results? The tree, the cutting from the tree, was the profile of one individual. Uh, that again matched the profile of Lake and Riley. Uh, approximately um, one in 500 octillion individuals. And only Lake and Riley on the tree. Correct. I want to go back um, to the fingernails. And you told us um, on the um, right fingernails, um, it was uh, with, for two of their results, Lake and Riley and Jose Ibarra, correct? Yes. And are there any other persons present there? No. How is it that a person, or under what situations, would you expect to find a person's DNA underneath another person's fingernails? Uh, usually, it either has to have some sort of scratching or contact with the inside of the nail. Uh, these were shorter nails, so they, it wasn't like they were long nails that you can just accidentally uh, have contact with. Uh, also, it, you could have someone's DNA from bodily fluids uh, present in the fingernails. May I have one moment, Your Honor? 